Iran says nine more people will soon be executed for their role in Iran's post-election protests. Two were hanged last week. Reza Sayer is following that story from CNN Islamabad. Reza? Stan, it is very likely that the statement today out of Tehran has everything to do with a big day coming up, February 11th, the big anniversary of the Islamic Revolution back in 1979. The opposition movement has once again called for widespread protests. It could, this could be a message by Iran's hardline leaders that if you come out and protest again, there could be a steep price to pay. Let's tell you what we have out of Tehran today. Iranian officials saying they will hang nine more individuals very soon for what they call their alleged involvement in the post-elections unrest. This according to state-run media in Iran. Of course, last week, two people were already hanged uh, in uh, Iran. 37-year-old uh, Mohammad Ali Zamani and 20-year-old Arash Rahmanipour. CNN spoke with Rahmanipour's attorney last week, and she told us, look, these two individuals were arrested two months before the elections, but for some reason they were tried along with post-election protesters. State-run media today in Iran reported this, a senior judiciary official saying the two people who were executed last week, as well as the other nine who will soon be executed, certainly had been part of the recent riots. Each had belonged to an anti-revolutionary group, had aspired to sow dissent and to uproot the regime. Again, the lawyer for Mr. Rahmani Puri was executed last week, flatly denies these allegations. Of course, Saturday you had Iran put on trial 16 other individuals who were allegedly involved in the last set of widespread protests in Tehran on December 27th. Analysts say this is an effort by Iran's hardline leaders to intimidate the opposition movement into submission, but it's been a, nearly eight months since the disputed election back on uh, June 12th of last year, and the opposition movement is still going, still defiant, once again calling for more protests, this time on February 11th, Stan. Uh, Reza, it's interesting. How is the opposition movement able to continue? How, how is it able to, to be able to get people out onto the streets with intimidation, as you've said many are calling this, with this type of intimidation in the country? Yeah, and that's what's been extremely remarkable about this opposition movement. Without a dynamic and clear leader, they've been able to come out despite repeated, often brutal, sometimes deadly crackdowns by the government. And one way to uh, effectively gauge the momentum of this opposition movement is to look at their ability to target these major holidays where there are government-sanctioned events and they come out and essentially hijack the event and make their voices heard. February 11th is another uh, one of those days coming up in nine days. Today on his website, opposition leader Mir Hossein Mousavi once again called for people to come out and protest. And that again stands, sets the stage for what could be another violent face-off between Iran's regime and security forces and the opposition movement. Stan? Reza, thank you very much for that. Reza Sayer joining us live there from Islamabad.